So, the battle for Christmas number one is raging. The might of the X Factor winner Joe McKeldry is up against the online campaign by fans to get the US rap metal group Rage Against the Machine to the, uh, to the top spot. Uh, I, I downloaded it myself the other day. It was kind of liberating feeling. Uh, I prefer swing, don't you? Sheila, I love a I bit love of swing. A bit of swing don't Listen, we? We, haven't, we, haven't got, we haven't got time for that particular I mean, plug. We always have time for that. Uh, let's speak now to uh, the band. Good morning. How are you doing? We're doing well. How are you? Oh, good. good. Is that Tom there? Yeah. Here. Sorry? Uh, we're all, f all four of us are on the line right now. Oh, fantastic. You could be number one for Christmas. How would that be? And what would you like to say to the potential buyers listening? Oh, hi. This is, uh, this is Zach De La Rocha speaking. How are you? Um, I, I think it'd be a, uh, kind of a wonderful statement. Uh, the kids in all over the UK have responded uh, to this incredible internet campaign. And I think that it says something about um, you know, the, the, the real tensions that people are experiencing uh, all over uh, the UK and the United States as well. <coughs> and I think people are just, would love to hear a song that reflects some of the tensions that they're experiencing in their daily lives and we're, we're very excited about it. Do you think it's a rage against the manufactured pop business? Well, I mean, th this has been a real, completely grassroots campaign started by real fans of music. And I think it's tapped into the silent majority of the people in the UK are tired of being spoon-fed sh one schmaltzy ballad after another, and they want to take back their own charts. And we are honored that they've chosen our song to be the rebel anthem to try to topple the uh, X Factor monopoly. What about those guys who say it's on the same record label as Simon Cowell, so ultimately he will still benefit? It's, he, he still he operates well, under the Sony umbrella. Yeah. Well, well, well. First of all, people aren't people are not buying Killing the Name to protest uh, a record coming out on a company. We wrote on a major company. We wrote Killing the Name in a small industrial slum in Los Angeles. The X Factor song was written by a cabal of uh, overpaid songwriters <laughs> to shove that schmaltzy <laughs> business down your throats. So it's the, they're two very different choices. And the, th the, thing that the thing is that listeners need to know is it's a, it's a really close race. And uh, I think that it's, it's a real liberating musical revolution that people are on. And again, we're really just honored to be a part of it. One of the things that we're doing is joining all the people from the Facebook campaign um, to help with an organization called Shelter, which is a homeless charity. Yeah. So uh, some of our proceeds, the windfall of proceeds from this is going to be going to Shelter, and you can learn about that at shelter.org.uk. Brilliant. And what do you guys think of Simon Cowell? Uh, well, I, you know, Simon is, a, is an interesting character who seems to have profited greatly off uh, you know, humiliating people uh, on live television and has a unique position of someone who could not only, uh, you know, uh, capture the attention of, of, of some people on, the, on, on television, but also on the airwaves. And we see this as a, a, a necessary break uh, in the chain of that control. Quick word from, stay there, guys, you're going to play for us in a second. Say it, John Mortar's on the line there. He launched the Facebook, Facebook group uh, to get you guys uh, at number one in the chart for Christmas, Rage Against the Machine. John, what would you quickly like to say to Rage Against the Machine? Hello, guys. I'd just like to say it's an honour to be on the same show as the guys, and uh, it's uh, great to hear you. Well, we'd, we'd like thank to thank, thank you very much for what you've done. And I think it's an excellent lesson for people that whether it's in a small matter, like who's at the top of the charts, or bigger matters like war and peace and economic inequality, when people band together and make their voices heard, they can completely up overturn the system as it is. We would now like to play a song for you. Let's get Christmassy. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Go, people. The band warming up to play. We can just song. fill in. <laughs>
told you. Now you do what they 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 told you. Don't take the eye. I shot the fire. I ran into bed. Take the joke to fight. I shot the fire. What they told you. Now you do what they told you. Now you do what they told you. Now you do what they told you. Now you're under control. Now you do what they told you. Now you're under control. Now you do what they told you. Now you're under control. Now you do what they told you. Now you're under control. Now you do what they told you. Now you're under control. Now you do what they told you. Now you're under control. Now you do what they told you. Now you're under control. Now you do what they told you. Now you're Wearing a badge and you're shot to fight. You're shot to fight. Don't die. We're wearing a badge and you're shot to fight. Don't die. Shot to fight. We're wearing a badge and you're shot to fight. Don't die. Shot to fight. We're wearing a badge and you're shot to fight. Come on. Sorry, we needed to get rid of that because that suddenly uh, turned into something we were not... Ex well, we were expecting it and asked them not to do it and they did it anyway. So by Joe's records. It's three, <laughs> minutes, it's three minutes past nine. On Five Live.